Hey all my family, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is all about three critical design check for a post tension slab design in CSI tabs program. The first basic point that we are going to check is that a check for deformation. And the second point is a check for punching shell. The last point is that a check for flexural compressive stress under uh, that of long term loss. Structural engineers uh, must know this basic design check to ensure safety and avoid failure. We will discuss in detail with practical project model. Watch this video up to the end to master structural designs of a post tension slab. Now it's a time for subscribe my channel and like this video to get daily update tutorials free. Thank you. You motivate me for future work. Let's start today's tutorial. This tutorial is continued from tutorial part one. So uh, let's go to assign a mesh and a diaphragm. So to do this, uh, let's go to first select the whole slab. After selecting the whole slab, uh, let's go to assign the diaphragm. So go to the assign menu from that, go to shell. After that, uh, diaphragm. So I have to select uh, D1, apply, okay. So uh, the diaphragm is uh, assigned like axis. After assigning the diaphragm, let's go to uh, assign the mesh. So to assign the mesh to the slab, let's go to the analysis menu. From the analysis menu, I have to automatically mesh a uh, setting for a uh, floor uh, from this point. Uh, you are going to use uh, approximate maximum uh, mesh size for automatic mesh, that is a uh, one meter. So I uh, make it okay. So uh, let's go to display uh, both the diaphragm that we are going to assign in the mesh. So uh, to do this, let's go to a uh, display option here. After that, uh, let's select meshes here after that uh, the uh, diaphragm is already uh, selected uh, make it okay so uh, the mesh and the diaphragm uh, looks like this let's proceed to analyze our model so uh, to do this go to the analysis menu before uh, going to analyze our model let's check the model so i have to select all these uh, parameters after selecting all these parameters make it okay so uh, the program itself uh, is going to check our model if there is a warning message. The model has been checked, no warning message uh, were generated. So uh, let's proceed to analyze our model. So go to analyze again uh, from this, let's set uh, the load case to run. So all the load case must be uh, under run, that is all the uh, PT uh, transfer, the PT final and PT final HEP, that is the hyper uh, static analysis. Uh, after that, uh, make it run now. Now the analysis is completed like this. Uh, let's proceed to the first basic or critical design checklist for post tension uh, slab design. That is check for deformation. Uh, deformation is nothing but it's a vertical displacement to fix the slab thickness by comparing it with the level deformation. So uh, let's go to check uh, the deformation with uh, that of critical uh, load combination. That is uh, the uh, load combination for long term loss. After that, uh, we are going to uh, compare with the level uh, deformation. That is a uh, level deformation, which is equal to uh, the L max or uh, the maximum length is divided by 50. So uh, our maximum length is uh, 8 meter as shown uh, from the model. So 8 meter, that is uh, 8,000 millimeter divided by uh, 50. I will show it in Excel. So uh, our maximum length is uh, 8 meter, that is 8,000 millimeter divided by 50, that is a 160 millimeter is the level uh, deformation. So uh, let's go to compare it with uh, the uh, deformation that uh, the software gives for this model. So uh, let's go to uh, the display menu. After that, go to the deformed shape. So uh, let's go to use the uh, maximum or the critical uh, combination that is for the uh, long term loss. So uh, let's go to select a long term loss. We have a uh, two load combination for a long term loss that is combination one and combination two. The maximum displacement or deformation for a long term uh, combination one is 101.75 uh, and uh, negative 104.21. That is uh, actually less than ZR level, that is uh, 160 uh, millimeter. So uh, the thickness, that is 200 millimeter slab thickness is good for uh, deformation. Let's further check uh, for a long term combination two and uh, further for uh, the punching shear. After that, uh, we are going to decide 
our slab thickness after uh, deciding the slab thickness uh, we are going to uh, revise uh, the distribution tendon i will show it uh, later after uh, fixing our uh, slab thickness so uh, let's go to uh, the display menu again after that uh, the deformed shape from the deformed shape uh, let's go to use a load combination that is load combination tool for uh, a long term loss don't miss that you have to make uh, in a uh, use it or displacement in gravity direction after that uh, apply make it okay so uh, the maximum uh, displacement or deformation is a uh, minus 125.47 that is uh, less than that of the level uh, displacements that is 160 millimeter so uh, after this uh, the slab thickness is good for a uh, deformation but uh, let's go to check it again for uh, that of a uh, punching shear let's proceed to uh, the second uh, basic design checklist for a post tension uh, slab design that is a uh, check for punching shear the punching shear uh, value must be uh, less than one unless i have to increase the slab thickness or provide additional reinforcement that may be in orthogonal or radial uh, reinforcement direction or I have to increase or I have to add a drop panel. I will show it in detail. To do this, go to the design menu. Concrete slab design. I have to view or revise the preference. That is uh, the building code of standard. From this, it's better to use uh, the default uh, design code. But the basic point is that our slab is considered as a way slab and all the data are used as the default as it is. This is because we are going to select the design code first. So uh, the default setting is uh, used. So make it okay. Let's go to uh, the design again. After that, uh, concrete slab design. So I have to uh, select the story that we are going to design. That is uh, the fifth story. Make it okay. This is because uh, we are going to design as uh, the fifth story uh, only. After that, go to uh, the design again concrete slab design start uh, design so uh, let's go to uh, the design menu again after that uh, concrete slab design from this uh, display uh, punching check so uh, the punching uh, value is uh, displayed like this uh, almost uh, the punching uh, value is more than to, so uh, we are going to add uh, the slab thickness or where we can uh, provide reinforcements in orthogonal and uh, in a radial direction or I uh, have to uh, add a drop panel. So uh, let's go to increase the slab thickness first. After that, I will check or I will add a uh, reinforcement detail. After that, uh, if it's not below one, well, we are going to draw a drop panel. So uh, let's go to unlock our model. So uh, go to the define menu. So a uh, section property uh, from this uh, slab section. So uh, I'm going to modify uh, the slab section. So uh, it's better to use a slab uh, with thickness uh, 300. 300. So uh, let's make it uh, 300. After that, uh, let's go to analyze and uh, design the slab. So let's go to uh, check the punching shape values. So uh, go to the concrete slab design menu. After that, uh, display the punching check. So uh, the punching uh, shear value is uh, like this. Uh, almost all the punching shear value around this is uh, less than uh, one and the other value are greater than one. So uh, let's go to add a drop panel or a reinforcement. So let's choose uh, adding a reinforcement. After that, uh, you can add a drop panel again. So let's check by adding a reinforcement to the uh, radial or orthogonal direction. So uh, to do this, let's select all the nodes with a maximum uh, punching shear value that is greater than one after selecting all uh, this node uh, let's go to the uh, design menu from this uh, concrete uh, slab design after that go to a uh, view or revise punching uh, override after that i have to select all uh, the default setting like this after that uh, the reinforcement allowed how to use a uh, reinforcement attack or the start rails so let's select reinforcement side so uh, let's use the orthogonal direction so uh, from this uh, reinforcement uh, grade let's use uh, 500 and the uh, diameter of reinforcement 40 the reinforcement spacing it's uh, better to use 100 millimeter spacing after that uh, make it okay so the punching check result uh, available result for a selected point uh, will be deleted do you want okay yes 
After this, uh, let's go to uh, redesign the slab. So uh, start design the slab again. So all the punching uh, value is updated uh, like this. And uh, in some case, uh, that is around the theory theory, uh, the uh, punching shield is not uh, provided or is not decreased by adding reinforcement. So you have to add a drop panel. For more information, I will attach a video link uh, in the description to investigate uh, more on punching shield detail that I'm going to uh, design for a flat slab design. So you can use this uh, link for more uh, detailed information. Or So let's proceed to uh, the third basic point that is check for a flex general compressive stress under a long term loss to do this uh, going to the design menu after that a uh, concrete slab design from this uh, let's use a uh, display flex general uh, design from this i'm going to give you an assignment that you are going to write on the comment section don't forget that uh, leave your uh, idea in the comment section why we are going to use uh, layer b only for uh, that of a uh, compressive uh, stress check so uh, let's select the uh, flex general stress check for that of a uh, long term after that i have to select uh, a compressive rather than selecting a tensile that is the stress type after that uh, let's go to check uh, the dc ratio diagram that is the demand uh, capacity ratio after that uh, make it okay all the uh, ratios are uh, less than one so uh, you can check also the maximum top and uh, maximum bottom that is already uh, less than one so this implies that the design is okay for uh, that of a long term loss. You can check the minimum reinforcement detail also in addition to uh, that of the tendon. Uh, this slab needs a minimum reinforcement. So I will show it uh, as bonus. So uh, go to the design menu from this, uh, go to uh, concrete slab design. So display flex general design again, enveloping flex general reinforcement. So uh, in both layers, that is layer A and B, you can uh, check uh, the reinforcement uh, needed that is the minimum reinforcement needed or you can check it uh, one by one so uh, let's go to uh, this so let's cancel the layer b after that uh, let's check across uh, layer one so all the minimum reinforcement uh, detail is uh, shown like this in addition to uh, the tendon this is all about today's tutorial in the next tutorial part that is tutorial part three uh, we will see how to prepare detail and uh, structural drawing in AutoCAD program for this uh, post tension slab. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. See you there. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.